Council of Kings coming up. We've got this global virtual council coming up and that's going to be rolling on a monthly basis, right? Two hours of virtual work with a community of men that can be, you know, hunt up to hundreds of men it might just be five. And we never know who's going to show up on a call. Right. And, you know, I know that when, when, a, when a guy hears about men's work, mm -hmm. when he hears about a men's circle, he has some some ideas about that, mm -hmm. you know, and my sense is that those ideas are probably not <laughs> accurate yeah, not when reflective. it comes to the way that the Rising Kings work. So I'm curious mm -hmm. if you can speak a little to to like to how we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, man. I you know one thing I appreciate about the spaces we've held together is they're not all up here. You know what I mean? I think a lot of, you know, maybe this is shifting around the world when it comes to men's work, but I know right here in our backyard, yeah, we're not we're not leading with this, right? Like, uh, we're we're using that, mm -hmm. right, for sure. But I, um, what I appreciate is we're we're getting in our bodies, mm -hmm. right, and and we inquire about what's in there. You know what I mean? We we inquire about. Oh, why am I holding myself this way or when I breathe this way what energy comes up oh where's that coming from right mm -hmm. and so I you know yeah I appreciate we have this holistic kind of approach you know to where the mind body heart soul are all honored and not just through conversation but through movement yes. and sound and you know getting 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 in that primal energy you know yes. pushing on each yes. other a little bit you yes. know yeah. And uh, I mean, it's powerful. How, how, how would you uh, describe the work that we do, bro? I, I really appreciate the way you you, uh, you articulated that, and I think it's about embodying this shit. Right. So many of us know that we know what we're supposed to know about what we're supposed to do or something, you know. Uh -huh. But there's a path to embodying that to uh, on a cellular level, the cellular knowing of who you are of why you're here and of what your role is in this moment, whatever this mm. moment is. Like when you know these things, who, who am I? Why am I here? And you know, I have a choice right in front of me mm -hmm. and what's my clear yes and no. Mm -hmm. Then there's power in that. We can start really making some radical changes in our lives or amplifying the things in our lives that we want. But that's embodiment. And most men are so trapped in their minds thinking mm -hmm. about it, virtually looking at other guys talking about it or doing it. Right. But when we get together, mm -hmm. we get physical. Even when we're in a virtual space and we've got guys all over the world in their own room somewhere, mm -hmm. we're gonna get physical, we're gonna use our breath, we're gonna use our voice, we're gonna use our body to call upon the energies that we want both the, the like divine soul energies that we want and the primal raw earth energy that we're here to be a harmonization of in our lives mm -hmm. because it is that harmony and that balance that allows me mm -hmm. in my life yeah. to be the most effective leader, to be the most clear and precise in my choices mm -hmm. and to be the most loving agent of mm -hmm. transformation that I can be. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, brother. Come <laughs> on, man. Yeah, you know, it's the balance of like crown on, crown down. We have that download from the divine, the revelation, the crown down, and then the ground up, right? And like getting our feet on the ground and everything that we've cultivated, wisdom wise or, you know, in our intellect, we've been able to ground it into our nervous system and carry it in our body, carry it in our mana, right? And build something with that right yeah. as opposed to just like you know being a being a robot yeah right and a, yeah a lot there's a lot of conditioning out there uh in the world so from, you know robotic uh living and and we're breaking that those 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 neural pathways down right and yeah. and opening up new ones for that that information that wisdom those gifts to to come through yes you know? and uh and a big part of redesigning those neural pathways is redesigning the way you move mm -hmm. in the world because we yeah. get stuck in movement patterns that are mechanical and mm -hmm. and and not even functional from like a body integrity perspective right. or a movement perspective 
And so a lot of what we do is not want, want, want. We're right. not about want, want, mm -hmm. want anymore. We've mm -hmm. talked enough about this shit. Mm -hmm. We're here to experiment with ways to move, ways to stand, mm -hmm. ways to breathe, ways to, ways to sound, mm -hmm. and ways to feel. Like right. ways to bring our attention into the body and feel what's happening mm -hmm. in here mm -hmm. at a pre-verbal and non-verbal level. Because the deepest healing that all of us need, some of our deepest traumas, mm -hmm. some of the things that are most persistently preventing us from actualizing our dreams mm -hmm. are things that were patterned into us before we had language. Mm -hmm. And so that's the language of the body that we mm -hmm. emphasize in the Rising Kings movement. Mm -hmm. And we're super excited to give you a taste of it. And, uh, and so we hope that you'll come out and join one of our global council calls. Um, we never charge anybody for these calls. This is, uh, this is our, our offering. This is our, our dharma. This is our passion to bring men together in this way. So we hope that you'll come onto one of these calls soon for a couple hours and get physical, get emotional, get real, get honest with, with us, with yourself, and with your brothers. Where's that? Yeah. It's time. I'll see you soon, King. Yeah. Aloha. Yeah, that was dope. Yeah, that was good. That was yeah, clean. Uh -huh. I want to, um,